Good morning from the upper Boss Lake Trailhead today. Going to be hiking Collegiate Peaks West number five and segment 15 of the Colorado Trail. For a full trail guide of both of these segments, you can check the link in the description below. We parked down off US 50 right off Monarch Pass and added about a mile and a half of hiking and 500 feet of elevation gain. If you did have a uh, standard four wheel drive or all wheel drive, vehicle with careful driving you should be able to get up to this upper trailhead no problem these segments are going to be just under 22 miles and about 3700 feet of elevation gain beautiful overlook here of boss lake looking over to uh Mount Etna through the trees there. Next up, just gonna work around this lake up to uh, Hunt Lake, which is right up over there. Up at Hunt Lake now. Absolutely gorgeous up here. Hunt Lake is in my opinion, the more beautiful of the two. Boss is cool, but Hunt is like a worthy day hike in its own right. Once you leave here, you'll be heading up towards the pass and uh, towards Monarch Ski Area. To this point, we've just had about uh, two miles of hiking since the trailhead and a pretty steady elevation gain as well. Right about 2.7 miles in, if you need water, this is a good place to get it because there won't be any water for about 8 miles until Monarch Pass. Wow, absolutely gorgeous up here. There's Hunt Lake. You can actually see Monarch Pass through there. Beautiful. Jackie bringing up the rear. So next up, we're just going to continue up and basically hug this uh, mountain here and go all the way to Monarch Pass, which is way there in the distance. From here, after you round the corner, you're gonna just continue your way, kind of doing rollers, and work all the way over to Monarch Pass. Very exposed, very open. So make sure the weather is really favorable for you on this segment, because there's a lot of hiking with no tree line.
really a uh, very very beautiful segment so far I always love the segments where you're mostly above tree line they're just always the best We have uh, entered Monarch Ski Resort here. We're gonna take a right on this road. You see all the trails in front of you and uh, the chairlift where you're going under right up there. All right, top of the uh, lift here. Just about 80 miles in and have about two to go back down to uh, Monarch Pass, which is just a little while that way. Hold Monarch Pass here. Have about a mile to the new Monarch Pass. Almost down to the pass, so we're gonna walk along the road up here, cross, and then go right up there. Crossing US 50. 10.8 uh, miles in and top of the new Monarch Pass here. And uh, again, a great resupply point if you need one. Shortly after leaving Monarch, you'll have a trail junction here to continue on the Colorado Trail. About 13 miles in, take a right onto the single track here. Looking back where we came from, Monarch Pass, and then around there before that. Man, this is up there as one of the most beautiful segments. Just around every corner are views like this. It's just unbelievable. So next up, we're heading that way, and I'm sure there'll be even more insane views. All right, 15.8-ish miles in, and we are now officially done with the Collegiate Peaks West. What a beautiful portion of this trail. Jack, what, what did you think about the Collegiate Peaks West? Was it worth it? What was your favorite part? Um, well, I've never done the East, but you hear everybody say that West is best, and I can see why it was really beautiful. I think today um, we did Collegiate West 5, and that was definitely the most beautiful, but Collegiate West 3 was pretty up there too. Really? I think that's an epic uh, underdog winning because I think Collegiate Peaks 3 is better than this one, but I hear you, this is an amazing segment as well. As the sign so clearly says, you have five miles left in the segment, and uh, basically you're gonna head all the way over and then down to Marshall Pass. We could easily finish this segment today, but <laughs> we carried all of our crap for 20 something miles. Uh, so we're just gonna camp. Speaking of crap, for a full 
gear list of everything Jackie and I recommend for the Colorado Trail, you can check the links in the description below to help support the channel. As the sun is going down, it's been about 15 minutes since we left the trail split and Jackie and I are just arguing constantly about what the best segment is so far. And I think she has a pretty valid point about 5 slash 15 uh, being the best of the Collegiate Peaks West and of the whole Colorado Trail. I think it's a toss up, but if you ask Jackie, she would vehemently disagree. <laughs> Wow, look at that. That's kind of looking back to where we came from. The lighting now is bananas. What a way to end this segment. Holy God, so pretty. I don't know what's going on, but the book here is just completely out of whack. There's just distances that are not adding up at all. In addition to that, it's been a little sketchy on the trail tonight. Without getting into details, uh, I don't think everybody feels 100% comfortable sleeping tonight. So we're just gonna finish up the uh, tr segment here and end up at like 22 and a half miles on the day, but we'll at least be able to know our campsites and sleep well, knowing that we will be alone if you catch my drift. All right, at Marshall Pass Trailhead, we are wiped. We ended up doing about 22 miles in 4,000 feet, basically the whole, not basically the whole segment. This was beautiful. Um, we just, yeah, we had some weird stuff on the trail that I won't get into in the video, but uh, we did not plan on hiking this all in one day, but there you have it. I wanted to add a few notes after last night. I don't feel like I adequately wrapped the video up. I was so freaking tired. So with the uh, regular Colorado Trail and our extra mile and a half, we hiked about 23 and a half miles. And um, it was beautiful. I mean, there was just, it was just stunning the whole time. It, it was truly a very pretty, pretty segment. Uh, we ended up hiking about three miles in the dark, which kind of sucked but we also got to enjoy the stars as well and we ended up camping back um, where we spent the previous night uh, right off Marshall Pass here. After you finish the segment you do have to walk up the road a bit to officially end the segment but yeah it's pretty straightforward. I would say if you've had that many miles on your legs the ending can be a bit frustrating because you can see the end and have to do a number of switchbacks to get there. For a full trail guide of Allegiant Peaks West number five in segment 15 of the Colorado Trail you can check the link in the description below. As always thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe not to miss any future hike related content and we'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> we did it.